Hello from Arizona. Thanks for joining me. I'm Aline. I'm a jewelry designer and today we're going to talk about tiger iron gemstones. I'm going to show you one right here and of course I'll show you more in detail but this is tiger iron. Uh, it's actually three different gemstones in one. It's tiger's eye, it's red jasper, and it's hematite. Now hematite's what gives it the iron name and also gives it the black, uh, I guess, inclusions you would call it here. So it's found, it's, uh, some places will tell you it's only found in Australia and actually that's not true. <laughs> As I started doing more reading on it, I found that um, not only is it found, in, of course, in Australia, but it's found in Upper Peninsula of Michigan and it's found in England. There's an area called Mucklestone and actually this is called Mucklestone too. You've heard it called Tiger, Tiger Iron, but it's also been called Mucklestone. Uh, excuse me, Mugglestone, like M-U-G-G-L-E-S-T-O-N. And that's not to be confused with the Harry Potter muggle uh, non-magic uh, people, but <laughs> it has nothing to do with that. It's just uh, the area of England where it's been found called Mucklestone, Muckle, M-O-C-E-L-S-T-O-N-E. Anyway, uh, it's somewhat rare in the sense that uh, you don't see it as prevalent as you would, for example, tiger's eye, which is a little brighter looking. Uh, and it's really, I just love the inclusions in this. And I'm gonna uh, bring the camera down so you can see some of these things in more detail. Yeah, this should give you a good look. First, I wanted to show you, this is a cuff I made with the tiger iron. Now you can see this very clearly, how beautiful the, it's got almost like a gold streak going through it. I mean, it looks gold to me, it's not actual gold, but um, it, it's so beautiful. The other thing that it, you'll see a lot of, and I'm gonna show you in, uh, let's see, let's show you in this smaller piece. I'll do it this way. See all the red? That's the red jasper. So um, it's really, every one of them is gonna be a little different. Uh, it took me, I found them by accident. Um, actually, at one of the shows I was attending, I uh, found them, I was talking to one of the vendors and they were, started talking about tiger iron. I said, I've never heard of it. And I bought a couple pieces of it and then the rest is history. I can tell you it's not easy to find. Um, I have, I've now have a couple of sources where I can get it. So I'm able to make some jewelry out of it and I just love it. This is a new piece that I did. I wanted you to see this. This is uh, some of the new things I'm working on, which is actually steel with 22 karat gold. And then what I like about this, because it has that gold streak running through it, it just ties in so beautifully with real gold. <laughs> so anyway, that's a new piece in my line. And uh, this is also another piece that I did. And this is just in silver. But again, you can see the red streaks running through it. I mean, I just think it's really got so much character to it. And because it is considered partially at least a quartz, it's, it's a hard enough stone. Now, keep that, keeping that in mind, it's not something you wanna put in any kind of uh, ultrasonic cleaner at all. And I don't recommend you put any jewelry with gemstones in ultrasonic cleaner unless it's a diamond because it, it could get damaged. And so this, even though it's close to a quartz and hardness, um, just don't do it, okay? Clean it with a soft cleaning cloth and uh, it should be fine. Now, because it's three different gemstones in one, in one you also get all three of the uh, metaphysical qualities of them as well. So uh, it, it really enhances creativity. That's a huge thing. It's about having a clear mind and with a clear mind, the creativity kind of flows. And it also encourages being creative all the time because as you become, whatever you're doing, whether you're writing, whether you're making something, it doesn't matter, you're cooking, all those things are creative. What it makes you do is it enhances your creativity every time. So the tiger iron is supposed to have 
that quality in it to give you a little more creativity. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I do have a video also on tiger eye, if you want to look that up, or tiger's eye as it's called sometimes. And uh, I'd love it if you'd join me and become a subscriber. And if you'd like to see my jewelry, I'll have a link down below where you can uh, sign up and you can purchase your first purchase at 15% off. So anyway, have a good day and thank you.